here with Al Qaitad, Matt Yukana. How are you feeling right now? Oh, amazing. That's really the, the world. world. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay, so going into the match, what do you think? Like, what are you guys thinking? You gonna, you gonna do it? Oh, yeah. Where are you gonna do it in three? I was thinking, yeah, it's either gonna be three or it's gonna be a dog fight to the end. Yeah. Five. I was thinking three or five. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> so, you guys ready for next year? Oh, yeah. of course. Three feet in the making. No, off season <laughs> starts today. There we go. And the gym right after this. Yes. Okay, how about all these fans out here? Oh, the best fans in the nation. Yep. The Rainbow Warrior fans. Yeah. Hawaii locals. Like, I mean, this is, is this the dream? This is better than the dream. You can't even imagine this one. Love it. Well, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Happy Mother's Day. Here with Jack Walmer. First off, how are you feeling right now? Oh, I'm great. It's a great experience. Yeah? Especially you twice <laughs> one in a lifetime. So, you go in, last serve. What are you thinking? Uh, you know, Coach show me, you know, go put in the serve, make it good, you know, I just, it's an experience I'll never, you know, forget. I feel like yeah. it's something like you dream of as a kid, it's like, oh yeah, last point, championship. Yeah, exactly. Um, no, it, it's a great experience, I'll never forget it. How know? about all these fans out here? Oh, it just shows you what, you know, Hawaii Volleyball is all about, you know, the fans are just so supportive, you know, it's one of the great things about this program. Love it. Well, congratulations again, and, uh, Three Pete? The plan, isn't it? <laughs> Love it. Hey. Right on. Brett Stewart here, UH Men's Volleyball. How are you feeling right now? Pretty excited, man. Just the support that people give here is unbelievable. I mean, I forget about it every year and then we come back and it's unreal. So. You're on next level those last two matches. How, how good did it feel to perform when it mattered most? Yeah, it felt good, man. Super proud of our team. Uh, big team effort. You know, it's really aggressive and it's fun to compete. Awesome. Congratulations again. Thank you. Appreciate it. With Keone Thim, champion. How are you feeling right now? Uh, we're feeling good. We got both, which hasn't happened. And back to back, which also has never happened before. So it's feeling pretty good. So I think the question on everyone's mind is, can you serve any harder? Yes. Oh, good answer. You'll, you'll see. I'm already working on uh, getting to the 80s or something. So, <laughs> so I mean, how, how much are you looking forward to next year? Um, I'm already working. Like, right when I rest up and heal, I'm already, we're already working for it. So... That's Hopefully we can get three. That'll be like super like unheard of. So I right. can't wait. How does it feel to get such a warm reception from all these fans? It's it's amazing. I would not rather play it anywhere else. This is like the best feeling in the world. It like makes all the hard work like way worth it. Do it again, all the way again, for sure. Awesome. Well, congratulations, champions, back Thank to back. You. Appreciate it. One more. Here with Kyler Presho. How are you feeling right now? Uh, feeling great. A championship is all I've ever really wanted in my college career, and to get one is, uh, especially in my last year of playing, is just incredible. It's surreal. I don't think it's really hit me still. How much did the potential of winning a championship contribute to coming here? Oh, it was a really big factor. I mean, it was probably the biggest factor. I wanted to play um, on a team that plays at the highest level. Clearly, that's what this team is. And, uh, you know, my decision to come here clearly paid <laughs> off. Love it. Any, anything you can share about next steps for you? Hopefully professional ball, yeah. Uh, trying to get in touch with a couple clubs, a couple agents, and see where I can take my career next. Great. Well, congratulations. Thanks for being a part of it. Huge member. Cut Thank pressure. you very Thanks. much. Thank you. Here's Jakob Tella. How are you feeling right now, besides exhausted? I mean, I feel incredible. I have no words, really, just seeing all the fans coming here and supporting us and celebrating the win again uh, for the national championship title. It's just it's amazing. Yeah, so humbling. What is it like to be a local celebrity? I mean, I never think about it too much, but like just seeing everybody coming here, it's, just, it's more us um, engaging with the fans and kind of just giving back what we're getting from them. So, I mean, it's a huge honor. So, 61 aces on the year, is that right? I couldn't even, I couldn't keep track. <laughs> I couldn't keep track. I didn't, I wasn't aware of that until after the game, actually, after it happened. But some, it's definitely, uh, yeah, I mean, huge accomplishment, but even bigger, winning enough, another title is for sure the biggest thing for us. This is huge. So, totally unfair question. Which one's your favorite? This one is my favorite. Yeah. Good this answer. <laughs> the only other, other acceptable answer is the next one. So. And the next one. How about next year? <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here's assistant coach Josh Walker. How great does it feel to go out on a win? Amazing. Amazing. And then just coming back and having all the fans and the reason why we've been working as hard to be able to for them to show our, our appreciation for us and vice versa. It's a storybook ending for sure. 
how exhausting is all the work that goes into not only the entire season but the national tournament? It's tough. It's tough, and it's always about balance and making sure you can get rest. But um, you can, I feel like you can never keep improving. So that's what I that's what I try to focus on when I do my work. That's why my message to the guys is keep finding ways to get better, and then hopefully the work puts in. You'll get you'll get days like this. So you're transitioning over to the women's game. What do you think of the kind of the state of men's volleyball right now? I think it's it's growing. Obviously, it's getting bigger. There's going to be more and more teams next year as well. Um, I think our program particularly is in a great spot. And when you have a school that is so supportive, a state that's so supportive, supportive of the sport, and this team is doing well, that's more and more people watching. That's more and more media coverage. Um, so it's great for the sport across the board. And I'm really excited to see how men's volleyball continues to grow. Awesome. Well, congratulations, Coach. Best of luck at Baylor. And... You know, Hawaii will miss you. Thank you. Thank you.